I have a project in which I need to have wireless communication between circuit boards. The transmitter receiver pair I chose to test in this video is one of the cheapest I could find. It is advertised to have a maximum range of 100 meters, that is 328 feet, if you have a perfect antenna and ideal conditions, which obviously never happens in the real world. For this test I have two Arduinos. The first one is acting like a transmitter. It reads data from the temperature and humidity sensor and sends it out through the radio module. The second one is acting as a receiver. Its job is to listen for radio signals from the transmitter and each time it sees one, it blinks. This way I can test if the messages are arriving or not. Now comes the interesting part. To operate at 443 megahertz, you need an antenna that is 17,3 centimeters long. And what that means is that the wire from which the antenna is made has a length of a quarter of the length of the carrier wave we are using. The length of the wire has to be an even fraction of the wavelength your signals are using. The antenna can be coiled to fit into a compact device. As for the antenna geometry, I found it to be a quite large rabbit hole, so I just took some copper wire and bent it into various shapes I found on the internet and some of them I modified, for example this one or this one. Here in my hand I have a power bank with the receiver and I'm going to be walking away to see what is the range of this radio system. I'm holding the emitter up in the air so we can maintain line of sight. I'm getting some signals, some messages here and there, but most of them are lost, so I think the effective range ends here. However, uh, to mitigate this problem one could send just hundreds of messages, so this way you are sure that at least one of them makes it to the destination and that's uh, the approach that I am using here. So here are the results of the tests I conducted operating the radio modules at 5 volts and sending hundreds of digital data packets. So first of all the design with no antennas is just 4 meters and that is kind of okay maybe for some applications but uh, I'm sure we can do better. Now these loose coral antennas have been able to get a range of 11 meters which is quite quite nice but nowhere near the 100 meters promised. Next we have the tight coiled antennas, they look like that. Anyways they had a range of 22 meters and that is twice the range of these loosely coiled antennas so perhaps uh, the amount of coils impacts the range. And finally at number one come the straight wire antennas at 30 meters and this range is enough for my application but I would prefer to have the 100 meters that were promised. I could power the transmitter with more than 5 volts and that would probably improve the range but I'm not sure maybe that needs to be tested as well maybe in a future video. Hey that's me from the future I was editing the video and I couldn't resist to try the 12 volts so here is some footage of me actually testing the system with 12 volts. So now I have the 5 volts from the Arduino and here is the step-up converter DC-DC and I'm going to regulate it to output 12 volts. Maybe 11. Also be careful because if you squeeze it a little bit the voltage can sometimes change. That's what I found. Yeah, so you could fry your board by simply squeezing the uh, the little regulator here. Okay, let's go with 11 for now. I was half expecting it to burn, but it didn't burn. Okay, now I have some power banks. This one and this one. Let's grab the transmitter and receiver and let's touch some grass because I'm excited to see if it's going to work. I quickly tested the range in my backyard and it was bigger than my backyard so for a proper test I'm out here uh, on the street. I still got range this far so I'm bringing the camera with me this time so you can see it for your own eyes. This is working a little too well. 
the road is starting to curve and I'm still getting signals <laughs> but they're arriving even though I don't have line of sight there's a car over there and some bushes the transmitter and receiver modules are quite easy to use the transmitter has a data pin, a VCC pin and a ground pin as well as an antenna connection you can feed it anywhere between 3.5 and, and 12 volts the receiver has a data pin, another data pin, a voltage pin, a ground pin, and also an antenna connection. It should be powered with 5 volts. The messages show up as strings of numbers. This number means that the transmitter with the ID 001 reads a temperature of 25,4 degrees and a humidity of 65,7%. You may ask why do I need an ID number and the answer is I added this feature to keep track of multiple transmitters in the future. For example if I have transmitter A and B I want to know if the signal came from A or from B. It's important to me. Okay. Now just for fun here's a reading of the radio signal on my analog scope. In the future the receiver will be connected to Wi-Fi and it will send the data to my server. I plan to include more data points like motion detection via a radar and use the device for analytics and potentially automation of a tennis courts business. So that would be interesting. Subscribe to not miss it. It's free. PCBWay, a custom PCB producing company, offered to help me with the PCBs for this project. More on that in a future video in which I will go over the process of making your own PCBs. If you want to see the code, I left a link in the description to my GitHub repository. Actually, I made a repository for this channel, so all codes that I will share with you will be there. The code for these devices uses the radio head library. The next step for the IoT project is to add more sensors, uh, do the data link between the server and the receiver so it can act as a kind of bridge. On the server there is a website made in Django and as you can read here this Arduino has Wi-Fi capabilities so we will be sending HTTP requests to the server to store the data for example and that will get quite interesting. Also, someone needs to design the casings for these devices and for the PCBs and everything. And that someone is me. Subscribe to not miss out on that. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and comment on your way out. And see you in the next one.